Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Ashley and in today's video, I am going to be doing a daycare day in the life. So, I'm a little bit late starting this because today, like this morning was crazy. Um, I woke up late and then yesterday I got the van cleaned. Um, and if you guys are familiar with me and my channel or me and what I do, I use my van to take my boys to school, but I also have some daycare kids that ride with me. So I got the van cleaned yesterday and then I didn't have the car seats in to, to wake up, get ready, put the car seats in, get my boys ready for school and then take them to school, whatever the case is. So I usually, right when I get back, which is literally right now, I have one student going potty, I have the other two right here. Once he's done going potty, I'm gonna take the girl potty, change the diaper, and then I'm gonna start cooking breakfast because it's gonna be breakfast time. So, that was a lot of talking. Let's go ahead and get started. So this might be a little bit weird, but I usually use a measuring cup to mix my batter because it has the little lisp here. It's easy to just pour the batter. Um, but it's a pretty big um, measuring cup, so I usually just do it in here. So the mix looks like that. It looks um, a little bit brown, but it's because of the cinnamon, you know? So it is Monday, by the way. So that's why the tables are put away. I swept and mopped on Friday, and then I don't use this during the weekend, so I closed it, put it away, so it's not in the way. Um, just letting you know, because every day I don't do this. This is just Monday that I have to do this. So the babies are eating right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and get the desks ready with the arts and crafts and stuff that we're gonna do today. After they're done eating, I'm gonna wash their hands, take them to go potty and change their diapers, and then we'll start doing the fine motor, gross motor, all of that stuff. So I'll show you guys my curriculum map in a little bit so you guys can see like the breakdown of what we're gonna do today, and I'll show you guys how the desks look once I set them up. I'll put a picture of the curriculum map next to me right here so you guys can see what I see. So we have to do our St. Patrick flashcards. So we're gonna do those. I have that inside of my circle time bin, which I'll show you in a second. And then for fine motor, we're gonna do the worksheet labeled STP 1-1. For gross motor, we're gonna do balloon play. I don't have balloons, so we're gonna do stair play. If you guys don't ever have the materials for a specific activity, you guys can implement or substitute it with something else, as long as they do gross motor, you know? Then for math, they're doing STP 1-1A. And then art and sensory, they're gonna do STP 1-1B. And then for ASL, we're gonna do flower, green, money, rainbow, which I incorporate that during circle time. So I'm gonna go ahead and start getting the worksheets that I need out, which is three worksheets. And that's pretty much it. So this worksheet, STP 1-1, I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need this one too, which is STP 1-1A. And I'm gonna be using this one as well, STP 1-1B. And then the rest is for a different day of the week. So I wanted to talk to you guys specifically about this activity. So what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to place glue all on the letter T, and then your kids are supposed to take Fruit Loops and glue it on top of the glue and they'll make like a rainbow T. So I'm modifying this activity as well. I don't have enough Fruit Loops for everybody, so I did cut shreds of paper all of rainbow colors, so red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet, um, and they're gonna be able to do it with this as well. I just wanted to show you guys this because there are ways to modify activities if you don't have certain things on hand. And then for this activity, they would just take the dot marker to complete the craft, so it'll be yellow, green, yellow, and then they would do green, yellow, green, and then they would do yellow. So they would do that for all of them, and then to modify it, you can laminate it, and if you guys have like little sorting bears, you can just have the children place the correct bear on top of it. Sorry, I just dropped it. Um, but again, there's millions of ways to modify things. I know that a lot of people say that my curriculum is a lot like more for toddlers and preschool, which is true, but there are ways to modify it. So the older kids are gonna understand the pattern. So like my four-year-old, she'll understand the pattern. But my two-year-old, he doesn't, but, or they don't, <laughs> not he, um, but they know their colors. He knows yellow and green. So I'll just tell him, okay, I need yellow. Hand me the yellow and he'll give me the yellow and stamp it. And then we'll continue on as well. So I wanted to show you guys how I modify that one. And then this activity, I usually read the word and they'll match it with the object. And the good thing is, is most of these are on our weekly flashcards. So I'll do the flashcards first so they can recognize the word. And then they'll be able to match the words with the actual picture. So in the circle time bin right here, I'll show you guys really quickly. We have clover, coin, horseshoe, and leprechaun. So they'll be able to get coin, horseshoe, clover, and I don't have the leprechaun, but the rainbow's easy. That one they might need a little bit help with, et cetera. So, just 
just wanted to show you guys that. Green, yellow, green, yellow, green, yellow. Green. Good job. Good job. Now in this one, I need a green. Where's the green one? Good job. All right guys, so it's currently 10.15. We did circle time, fine motor, art and sensory, and math. The only thing we gotta do is gross motor, and then we're done. Guys, I really wanted to quickly show you guys these bins. So I bought them off of Amazon and I got um, three orders of five. So it comes with five and they have different colors. Um, and I just wanted to show you guys that they fit inside of my Kallax drawer. And the reason why I got those is to organize my stuff. So I got one for every month, so I ended up getting 15, but I have one for circle time and I know I'm gonna use the other one for something else. So this one is circle time and then this is like for the month. And then in here I have all of my materials for the curriculum that I'm gonna be teaching. So it's just easier to have everything in here. I used to try stuffing my binder with like the extra stuff and it just wasn't working out for me. And um, I got these. So this is March's, this one is my circle time and then I'm gonna have one for January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, all the way to December. All right, so for next time I was working on my TPT store, I, um, I'm almost done with my Easter curriculum. I always print out one and then I go through all of the instructions to make sure that I did everything right, that I didn't misspell anything. Um, I still make mistakes, trust me, because I still find some and I'm like, oh, gotta fix it. But um, if you guys ever purchase any of my material and see a mistake, just let me know and I'll fix it and then I'll just update it on TPT. You don't have to repurchase it, it'll just give you a notification and then you just re-download the new one. So you don't have to worry about like buying another one just because of a typo. Um, so yeah, this is the Easter theme and these are the instructions and this is literally the last thing that I have to triple check and then I'll be able to post it. So my fingers are crossed that by the end of this week, the Easter one will be posted so that you guys can go ahead and purchase it. this vlog i hope you guys enjoyed it i feel like i need to film more day in the lives more often because when i do day in the lives i feel like i talk i talk a lot and it's because i have so much information to get out for you guys because i'm not filming um as often as i should i have my babies getting their shoes on right now so that when the parents come they can grab their babies and they can head out and everybody's already ready and that's pretty much it so i did do the tables and the chairs all of that is sanitized if you guys look behind me yeah, the tables and the chairs are sanitized. I am gonna sweep and mop this. And I'll show you guys maybe a little bit later what it looks like because I have to sweep and mop that floor. I just looked at it and it's not. I'm gonna go crazy if I don't sweep that floor or mop it. So I'm gonna go ahead and take care of that and I'll show you guys what it looks like later. So that basically completes today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already and I will see you guys in my next video.